Hey, thanks for joining us on the Amazon Lit YouTube channel. My name is Eric and welcome to our warehouse. In this facility, we process over 100,000 orders a month to ship them to FBA facilities or fulfilled by Amazon facilities all over the country so customers can have them delivered to their house in one or two days. What a concept. 90% of our sales come from the Amazon wholesale business model. Now what does that entail? What does that look like? Well this video breaks it down and explains to you exactly what Amazon wholesale is. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications, throw any questions you have in the comments below, enjoy and stay lit. Hey, welcome to our warehouse. Right here, where I'm sitting today filming this video, we process hundreds of thousands of orders and ship them to FBA facilities, fulfilled by Amazon facilities, all over the United States. So our customers, the people who purchase our products on Amazon.com, with the click of a mouse, add to cart, can have the products that we package shipped to them by Amazon in one or two days. Revolutionize the way online shopping happens and now other e-commerce marketplaces like Walmart and Jet and eBay, they are trying to compete with the revolutionary shipping times that Amazon offers to customers. And Amazon has over 100 million Prime members. So that is a lot of people who are buying on Amazon every day. And that's not even including the people who don't have Prime memberships and just shop on Amazon. Not as frequently, but they still shop on Amazon to buy products. But today what we're here to talk about while we sit in this 20,000 square foot warehouse is wholesaling on Amazon. We get a ton of questions all of the time, like, hey Eric, hey Sebastian, how exactly do you wholesale on Amazon? What is Amazon wholesale? What is the process? How can I sell large quantities of products to customers on Amazon.com? And that's a very valid question. Am I here? I'm here to explain to you exactly what Amazon wholesale is and what that business model entails. So the definition of wholesale is the selling of goods in large quantities to be retailed to others. So by definition, wholesaling on Amazon is not what we do in this facility. That is not what we do. That is not what anybody who says they're in the wholesale Amazon business does, right? I think that the wholesale business model and the name wholesale Amazon or Amazon wholesale came from the process in which you obtain the products that you sell on Amazon. So the products that you see behind me and the products that we have scattered all over this 20,000 square foot warehouse were purchased from wholesalers and distributors to be retailed on Amazon.com. So the Amazon wholesale business model, the name comes from the way in which you obtain the products to then retail on Amazon.com. Because the people purchasing products on Amazon.com are A, not purchasing them in large quantities, unless they're B2B buyers, which we'll touch on a little later on in the video. But B, they're not purchasing them to be retailed. They're purchasing them for their own consumption, their own use, their own personal use, or a gift to give to somebody else. They're not purchasing them in large volumes to be resold to somebody else. So the Amazon wholesale business model, the name comes from the way in which you purchase the products to then retail them on Amazon.com. So I touched a little bit there on B2B and what B2B is or business to business on Amazon still is not selling wholesale on Amazon. You may be selling products that you've purchased from wholesalers on Amazon, but it's not selling wholesale on Amazon. So B2B, you can sign up for B2B on Seller Central and what B2B does is it allows other B2B members on Amazon.com to submit offers for larger quantities of products to any person who's selling on that ASIN who's also registered 
on B2B on Amazon.com or through Seller Central. So let's say I find a product, I know we shop B2B a lot for, we get toilet paper, paper towels, we get pens and notepads, all B2B purchases on Amazon.com. So let's say we want to get, um, you know, 50 10 packs of, of pencils and, and 50 notepads for our, for our team for the next six months. We will submit an offer through B2B to on that ASIN and what Amazon will do is they will shoot that offer out, they will email that offer out or it really comes in your Seller Central on your B2B tab. Um, it will come in your offers and you can manage your offers and it will say, hey, this customer requested 15 units at let's say $9.99. Now normally your product may be listed at $11.99, but you have to make a decision, are you willing to move 15 of those units for $2 less to move some inventory a little quicker. Maybe the SKU's not moving or maybe it's selling really well and you're not willing to take that $2 hit. So it's all things you have to weigh. But I know we purchase a ton through business to business on amazon.com and we also sell a ton of business to business on amazon.com. But that does not mean we are wholesaling on amazon.com. We buy products wholesale to retail on amazon.com. In the past 11 months, all of 2019, it's the beginning of December, so in the past 11 months, we sold over $800,000 in business to business transactions. Now 50% of those transactions, over 50%, $480,000 in the past 11 months were business buyers in the commercial industry. And what the commercial industry is essentially what we do right here. Right, large or small businesses that produce goods, so it could be manufacturers, factories, wholesalers. We don't just sell products on Amazon in this warehouse, we also wholesale to other Amazon sellers, to other uh, e commerce sellers, to other brick and mortars and bodegas. We wholesale these products, so we are a commercial industry. This warehouse here is a commercial industry. So, 50%, over 50% of the business to business transactions that we process a year through our B2B Central are from commercial industry businesses just like the one I'm sitting in. But that doesn't mean that they're wholesale purchases, right? They're still retail. Even though they may be buying 10 or 15, we get toilet paper and paper towels from B2B purchases, right? And we buy, let's say 30 uh, units at a time, 30 12 packs of toilet paper. But we are not buying them to retail them. We are buying them for our own use in our commercial business. So it is not buying wholesale on Amazon.com and the seller who sold it to us is not selling it to us wholesale on Amazon.com because we are not retailing the goods. We are buying them to use for ourselves. Game changer when you really understand the terminology of what's discussed, it's super important. Also understanding what retail arbitrage is and private label or online arbitrage. There's a bunch of different terms out there that you might not be aware of what they mean but we're gonna provide you with all that information. So now about 12% or $100,000 a year of our business to business transactions on B2B Central are to the healthcare industry. So hospitals, doctors, dentists, physical therapists, anybody who's in the healthcare industry, they're purchasing our products through B2B Central and we do almost a, a little over $100,000 a year in B2B sales to the healthcare industry. Now another 12% or another $100,000 is sold to the education industry. So schools, colleges, other educational institutions, they are purchasing over $100,000 a year from our storefront at discounted pricing because we're giving them a volume discount not a wholesale discount, but a volume Amazon discount so they can then use the products themselves and not retail the products. Maybe they will retail the products, but most likely they're buying them for themselves because the prices on Amazon are usually much higher than you can find it in a store because you're paying for convenience. You are paying for the convenience of to click a button on your mouse and it's at your house in two days, sometimes even one day. And now 9% of our business to business transactions are government industry. So the federal buildings, Department of Treasury, municipal buildings, courthouses, police departments, over $70,000 in sales a year is bought and purchased from us 
from those type of industries. So it's important to understand these numbers and know who your customer is. Because if you don't know who your customer is, getting to this level, getting to this level with all of these pallets, I think we could hold over 180 pallets in this warehouse, right? And sometimes we have it packed to the max. So getting to this level, if you don't understand your customer, it's not only very challenging, it is nearly impossible. We train our team members to understand the end consumer of their product when they're purchasing it and to analyze listings to help them better understand people's buying patterns and what people like, right? Knowing key terms, like right now, something that's huge is keto. Keto is huge. Anything with the name keto in it is exploding, right? I don't think there's one listing on Amazon that has keto in it that doesn't have some sort of sales velocity. Game changer. So we train our buyers to look for key terms like that. And you should be training yourself or training your team to look for keywords like that. So when you reach out to your wholesaler to purchase products, like the products we have behind me, you know exactly what you're looking for. And if you see a product that you want, you can call them up and say, hey, I need 1,200 units of this. Can you give me a 7% discount? Can I get a 8% discount? How much inventory do you have? Oh, you have 3,000? Can I take all of them at a 9% discount or a 4% discount, whatever discount they're willing to offer. If you don't ask, you don't know. So it's super important to know the end consumer so you know what products to fill your warehouse up with. And now all these products behind me, because we're in the wholesale business model, we buy products from wholesalers to retail them on amazon.com. 90% of these products behind me will be gone in two to three business days. So they are all produced, packaged, labeled with FN SKUs, shipping labels, expiration dates, and they're in one door and right out the other door in 72 hours. That's how we operate. That's what the wholesale business model is. Selling products in large volumes by ones and twos, retailing them on amazon.com, purchasing them at discounted prices from wholesalers or distributors, and Velocity is the name of the game when you're selling Amazon Wholesale. Velocity is the name of the game. If I could sell a thousand products a month, a thousand of one SKU a month, and only make two dollars on it, I'm excited. That's an extra two dollars in our company's pocket every month. Now if I could do that a hundred times, that's even more exciting. That's two hundred thousand dollars if I can do that a thousand times you get it you can do the math that's two million dollars all you have to do is sell a thousand products a hundred or a thousand times a month you got two million dollar a month of business game changer when you analyze your numbers and you know your business it's really not that complicated it's just about putting in the work and dedicating your time to learning new skills and new assets. Sebastian over here and myself at Amazon Lit, we're always learning new things, watching new videos, talking to people who have more information than us, expanding our knowledge because we're not the smartest people in the world, right? We're intelligent. We've been able to build this, but we need other people's experience to continue to grow. So hope you enjoyed the video, an explanation of exactly what Amazon Wholesale is and what the Amazon Wholesale business model entails. If you got any questions, make sure you throw them in the comments below, smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and stay lit.